at the time of going through my treatment, I was particularly private. Um, you know, I didn't like it to be the cornerstone of who I am or that that was my identity, that I was the sick person. And, um, you know, I wanted life to continue as always and I wanted to pursue my other interests and hobbies and, and let this just be something that was going on on the side. You know, I was taking um, 12 tablets in the morning, you know, half a dozen midday and then another 12 in the evening. Um, so I started collecting them like, like a hoarder. I don't know why, I just thought, you know, this might eventuate to something one day. And obviously the day-to-day, -day, the routine um, of, of just being sick and, and um, the, the sheer quantity of medication that I was taking at the time uh, was, was something that I found quite interesting as a premise um, in terms of art making. I really wanted to create an installation piece that was really immersive and also visually connected to um, the, the journey I'd been through. So I decided to um, mock up a few different ideas. I used a 3D modelling program and I finally came up with this one design that I thought um, really encaptured uh, I guess the, the common motifs that were sort of coming in and out of my, my life at that time. So the piece is constructed of um, upwards of 3,500 pill casings to create essentially a large cube um, that hangs from the ceiling. When you look at the cube from one direction, you actually see a positive sign, which is, I guess, you know, when my blood levels were tracking up. And then when you look from the other direction, you see a negative sign, which represents um, really black and white medical information that you, you're served up each month. You know, things have gone up, things have gone down. I think it was empowering to make an artwork like this. Um, at the time and you know, even in the gallery space, I had some conversations with people who I'd never met before and you know, it opened that dialogue about um, chronic illness and what it means to be just dealing with this day in, day out or you know, just the sheer quantity of consumption and um, having the general public understand that uh, more obscure diseases uh, do get less funding and for people who are diagnosed with these diseases I guess finding hope in those circumstances um, is a little bit more difficult. I think the, the work that Maddie's Vision is doing is so important because making people who have these issues um, feel like they're, they're just as valid as um, other people's sicknesses and, and to give them hope and, and know that you know research and um, money and awareness is going into uh, issues like, like bone marrow failure.